a people loved of God. Africa, you are the rainbow of God's heavens, the, the drumbeat of God's heart, the crown of his glory. Looking into those deep brown eyes, beholding the beauty beyond description, the coarseness of your black hair, mesmerizing in its intensity. This black skin emerged in the rays of sunshine. Still, the essence and definition of you is deeper than this beautiful skin color. How then do you see yourself through the lens of prejudice? Believing the assumptions and misconceptions that they have of you, the tragedy of a stolen identity. Who told you that you're not enough? Come on, come on. Whose report do you believe? Yes, Africa. May you know how you are not defined by the color of your skin. Today we celebrate your differences and diversity across this wide continent. Africa, you are not just a place with lots of wild animals and poor and hungry people. You are a continent filled with the most amazing, beautiful people and places. Yes. This great continent we call home, a rich heritage, a history that can teach others many lessons. How blessed you are. Today I celebrate you. I pray for you, Africa. It is my deepest hope and desire that the prayers of intercession made on your behalf, beautiful land, beloved continent, they will penetrate and heal historical wounds, that there is a release of captives and a mighty move of God like never seen before, a revival and restoration of everything the enemy has stolen, and that your generation rises and changes your story, that out of your pain, rivers of living water flows. Lord, for the love of Africa, hear my prayer. Faithful Father, keeping your covenant to a thousand generations, incline your ear. Look upon us fervently today. Holy Spirit, bring comfort to the deepest places of your pain. Bring the fire of your deliverance to the places of your oppression, to the prisons of poverty in Africa. Let the prosperity and the abundance of heaven fill your lands to the chains that bind the Lord. Bring liberation of choice and to the deserts of your suffering, cool streams of relief, to the tunnels of deception in Africa. Let the light of your truth illuminate and to the jungles of your conflict, flags of reconciliation. To the caves of despair in Africa, Jehovah God, bring voices of hope. And to the swamps of your fears, whispers of comfort. Amen. May the lessons of the fainting past fuel the dreams of your tomorrow. Sit here on the path of progress. Lord, raise leaders that speak your voice. Yes. Let democracy and freedom reign like the springs of the desert. And where your feet may fail, let your faith take your belong. Yes, Lord. Breathe your breath of inspiration. When Africa cherishes a wilderness and celebrates nature's bound to increase their capacity. And where she cares for your people, Holy Spirit, let her land swell. Yes, Save her ruins, keep her winds blowing, keep her streams flowing, and keep her flowing. Amen. Lord, in her ignorance, ushering assurance. In her backwardness, bring innovation. Destroy the power of color, tribe, and nationality. Let justice shield us. Yes, indeed, be our defense. May the sunshine of honor rise. Let there be a rain of blessings. Yes, indeed. Abundance in the storehouses of the nations of Africa. Amen. Heal our land. Give us a cure of all that which ails us. Yes. Unveil our vision as a continent. Forgive us our debts. Yes. We are born debtors to the systems of this world. We have targets and curses on our backs, bondage in the bloodline, which is in our bed right for on the day of our bed, our cord was not cut. No, we were washed with water for cleansing. No dropped with sword or wrapped in clothes. No one cared enough for us to do even one of the things out of compassion. Instead, we were thrown out into the open field, despite on the day of our birth. But you, Redeemer, Savior, Father, passed by and saw us wallowing in our blood. And as we lay in our blood, we became Make us quiet like a plant of the field. Cause us to grow. Mature and beautify us in your own way. Spread your cloak over and cover our nakedness. Amen. Let us yourself. 
Anoint us with the oil of your joy. Take away our shame. Wrap us in the linen. So adorn us again with Krishna's gifts. Crown us with your goodness. Let peace reign within the walls of Africa. Let us meet again with the treasures as in the days of old. Bless our heritage of covenant keeping God. And as we begin to walk in liberty, we will always remember our praise. You are all God. We ascribe you all the greatness declaring the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established upon the rivers. So who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in the holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not sway it. He will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the heritage of the generation of those who seek, who seek the face of God. Jacob. Lift up your hands yes. and be lifted, O ancient earth, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Your heads, O oh, gates, and lift them up. O oh, ancient those that the King of glory may come in. Who oh, is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Yes. Glory be to his name. Let the praise resound in Africa. Glory to our Father and King. And forever be our God. Rise up on your feet, Africa. Thank you, Lord. Let them sing to the living. Shout for joy, listen with jubilation, beat the drums. Yes. Excitement for today, we celebrate his goodness. Allah. Allah. Allah.